Welcome to Jay's Speed Shop. Today we are going to be changing the oil on a 2016 Chevy Cruze and Alex will be doing most of the work. So we're just going to kind of watch along as he does his oil change. So we have the car up on a hoist. It's, uh, you know, you don't have to have the hoist in order to do this. The, uh, you could do it with jack stands and uh, a floor jack or ramp. ramps is actually the great way to do it. You can just have a set of ramps you can drive your front wheels up on, um, gets it up off the ground high enough. The, uh, or, you know, jacks and jack stand, but just make sure you got jack stands under there so that you don't uh, have any chance of it coming down on you. The car's pretty easy to get to. Oil filter's literally right there in the front. Drain plug's right there on the back of the pan. Might be the world's smallest oil pan. And we should be ready to go here in a second. Let's so walk around while we're waiting for oil to drain. So it's the brakes are making some noise. That one's hard to tell. But I was out looking today and that rotor's looking pretty rough. I, can see, I don't think I can see the back side of that. Maybe over here by the pads. Yeah, that one's pretty rough. This one's a little bit rough. Definitely has some grooves in it. Cars, what's how many miles around this? 45? About 45. So, still on the factory brakes. This one's had a couple of grooves in it, but we checked the pads after those grooves showed up. It must have gotten something stuck in the pad or something because the pads had plenty of uh, bite left. That was what, two years ago we well, checked we them? I think there was a rock at one point. Yeah, but was, was that two years ago we checked them, probably? No, about a year ago. A year ago? And they seemed fine, but anyways, I ordered all new like pads side. and rotors today. Just let it in there, let it train out. One thing you want to do is check, pick that back up, and make sure that this rubber washer is still on the inside of that. Yeah, yeah okay. Is. Sometimes they stick. Got six quarts of oil. I don't think this car takes a full six. I think it takes like four and a half or something. So we'll have to watch. Just kind of put them in slow and see what how much it actually takes. You don't, really don't even need a wrench. You just hand tighten them. I mean, snug them pretty firm, but... Make sure you got it straight what's going on. Don't cross thread it. It should roll on real easy. There you go. No, the rag, and you can kind of grab those knuckles at the bottom there and just get as tight as you can by hand. Just got to squeeze hard on it and turn it. See like this sucks? Grab it and just, I got another half turn out of it. That should be good. Again, don't have to, it's good and snug. There you go. And it doesn't come all running out at you when you're trying to move it over. Put three in and then check and see where it's at.
Okay, that's good. Looks like it's a little bit, check it one more time, but I think it looks like it's probably a little low. It probably takes about a bit, move some oil around the engine and fill up the filter. Yeah, so you probably need one more quart. 